legend, welcome back. Please join me on Twitter at LinkedIn and I will be helping you out. What are we doing today? Well, I've been outside. I've been playing PlayStation outside. So thanks to this little bad boy, the PS Vita, I'm able to play my AAA games. So for example, if you are listening to the Switch users and all the Switch users are saying, oh, I can take my thing off the TV cradle and I can still play my AAA games and I can go outside for miles and miles. So can you. So let me show you this. This is going to be how to use remote play now. Facts, we're in 2019. Remote play does work as well on tablets and certain phones. That's great. Do have a look into that, but I'm not going to show you that. I don't want to actually play my games on a screen with little flat toggles. I want to use the real things. I want to actually use the direction pad. I actually want to use this. I want to use the buttons. So do you. Get your PS Vita out of the drawer, blow off the cobwebs. I want to prove to you now that remote play works amazingly as well as outside of the house. Sit back, relax, no hacks, no gimmicks, no how to downgrade the software, add this software, put the flux capacitor on and This is just turn it on, get it working. Let's go. Okay, the reason we're doing this is because of the great games on PlayStation. So let's start off, let's pick a game from the great selection. Uh, I'm gonna choose Spider-Man. Okay, tip one, and pause this video as much as you need to. So remote play, in the settings, go to the second one and turn this one off. I have made this work with it on, but a lot of people say turn this off and you'll get a better connection, so go for it. Okay, the Vita will only connect to the primary user of the PlayStation, so make sure that's you. Go to the account management, go down to activate as your primary PS4, and this is your primary PlayStation. I'm already activated, yep. Okay, after that, this one's important for Project Outdoors. So if you want to turn on your PlayStation from outside of your house, power saving settings, go to the second one, available rest mode, and then go to enable turning on PS4 from network. All right, so make sure that's ticked. It has to be ticked, because then the PlayStation will turn on. Last but not least, connect your beta. So add a device and I'll leave it from there. All right, one tip for you to do on the Vita. So all of that was on the PlayStation. Go to settings on the Vita, okay? There is a power saving mode that's already activated just to make sure you don't run through your battery, but we're gonna turn that off. So go all the way down to the power saving options, right down the bottom of the list, and it might be ticked on. It's called Wi-Fi power save mode, but turn that off. We need as much power we can get. Okay, so we're not gonna need this controller anymore. So go back again, rewind if you need to. Some of those options are great, but we're now ready with the PlayStation Remote Play. So turn it on, let's go from there. And uh, not gonna need the TV anymore. Oh yeah, let's turn that off, eh? Good job. Right, let's get this working. Remote Play, go. Okay, please note I'm still in the house. I'm just gonna use Remote Play. So I'm on the same Wi-Fi as the PlayStation, but that is not necessary. So let's connect, I'm gonna try a few games. We're gonna connect them to my main system, bring it up on this screen, and then we're gonna see how it works with online games. Oh, here we go, there we go. Look at that, powerful, isn't it? On this little shaky bad boy. But all the work is from the PlayStation. This is just a screen projecting it, that's all it is. All right, let's do an online game. Let's pick Fortnite. Oh, hold on, let's turn off Sonic Mania. Yeah, brilliant, that is preparation. <laughs> let's do Fortnite and uh, let's see how that runs for us. Okay, so running goddamn smooth. And again, this is an online game, so I'm not picking up any lag at the moment. Now the controls, they're gonna be a bit different. They're all there, but you've gotta use different buttons. So, see that little blue bit at the top of the screen? That's showing me the back of the pad that I'm touching. So, R2, L2 are on the back of the pad. I can change the settings, but look, they're up here. Uh, L3 and R4, is it? Or L3, I don't know. But they're at the bottom as well. So all the buttons are there. Some of the games use the front of the screen to do it. It's a very touch awesome little device. So I'm running good. I did play this a little while ago on Twitter and I got two kills. I was pretty chuffed with that, seeing that I'm using the beta. But yeah, that worked out pretty well. But look, this runs very, very smoothly and um, not picking up any lag, any connection problems. and. Uh, yeah, you're playing Fortnite on a handheld PS Vita. Not too shabby. All right, let's move on. Let me show you a 16-bit game thing. And what better than Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic 
Mania. This has just come out a little while ago on the Plus store for free, but um, yeah, so far, so smooth. And this is a great little one to crack into your PlayStation via your Vita on. Huh? Good, right? Very chuffed that I found out that I can do Rocket League as well because I play this one before bedtime. End up going to bed pretty late because I won't go to sleep until I score the goal. You played this, you get me. Oh, ha! Nearly had that one. All right, okay, so running smooth online with multiple players. Okay, time to get out of the big guns. Let's do a triple A game. How powerful is this really? Picking the suit, looking sharp, Mr. Parker. All right, so I'm gonna spend some time on this one because this is a triple A powerful super game that everyone loves. Uh, the touchpad I mentioned behind the screen, you can see that at the top there now. Pretty good that we're on a dark level. Oh, that focus, let me just, let me just get back on the floor so I can get the camera. I've only got one pair of hands, I can't actually pick up stuff. Let me, uh, there you go, right, cool. So, back in focus. Looks sharp, right? Let me just emphasize again, the PlayStation is the unit that's doing all the power, it's doing all the work. But yeah, it's just running or streaming onto the screen of the PS Vita because you've accessed your way in with remote play. Love this game. If you haven't played it yet, please get it. I'm swinging, I'm loving it. You can greet and meet people. Um, but yeah. Actually, it's a bit of a shame it's a dark level because the beautiful graphics on this are lovely. But listen, I'm not here to review the games. Let's uh, switch off Spider-Man. All right, one more little leap. There you go. And let's uh, just turn it off now and I'll do an important bit. So this might be a new routine or behavior change for you when you turn off your PlayStation at the moment, your PlayStation 4, so you all recognize this screen. You go to power, all back in focus. But we're gonna go into rest mode. So from now on, you're leaving your PlayStation on standby. You're leaving it on rest mode and we're ready to leave the house. So let me grab my stuff, get the PlayStation. Now this, goes in this little sleeve, yeah, yeah you've all seen this before, but I use it as a wallet. So these are my card, my front door key, and my notes, my money, and I just put it in my pocket. That's how portable the Vita is. I just carry it around in my left pocket every day. Whenever I want a game, I can do. Right, and they also work with wireless headsets. Mmm. Right, let's get out of here. Change music. Connect him. Guys, we're outside. We're in the park. Engine's running because I need the aircon on. It is hot tamale. Connect, connect, connect. Uh, yeah, baby, we're on. So I'm outside the house. I'm smooth running. Gents, we are on. I've so unfortunately only got one hand to do this, but this is running smooth. This is outside. And this is a success. God of War. Running. Let me try and find somewhere else where it's a bit more shadier. Okay, best I can do in the car, I'm gonna try it like this. So, God of War. Working beautifully. Should have bought my holder. Anyway, PS4 working outside. What did I tell you? In the great outdoors. Ah! See? So that brings us to the end. That wasn't an easy video to edit at all, but not, not a lot of people knew that the PS Vita can do that with remote play and people that did, didn't think it was that good years ago and it wasn't. Now it works great and it works outside. So you can use a Sony device playing the amazing Sony PlayStation games outside of the house. Guys, I really, really hope that helps. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch and please do me a favor, write in the comments because I love sharing my passion, but do, do tell me if that did help you. If you're gonna go buy a Vita tomorrow, roughly about 70, 80 quid second hand, really good time to buy one. I'll put a video up here in a second that will tell you exactly um, why you should buy a PS Vita in 2019. But I hope that was a good example as well. You've got it in the drawer, go get it, play at lunch break at work, 
those amazing Sony PlayStation games. And Thanks do remember to subscribe! Thanks for watching my pedigree chums, bye bye.